Morning, y'all. <clears throat> hey, Thomas. Morning, Patrick. I forgot to put my confetti. Hey, Jeffrey. Do y'all know what we're celebrating today with the confetti? Ooh. Me too, Thomas. One day soon. Hey, Ryan and Jeffrey and David. Hey, Allie. Hi, David. <clears throat> Does anyone know why I would have confetti today? Morning, Amber. Yep. Thomas got it. It's the two year anniversary of the new building at MP opening. So we're celebrating its two year birthday. It does look like I'm having a party. <laughs> it's actually no one's birthday. It's the building's birthday, I guess. Hey, Billy and Bennett. Yeah. Jackie. <laughs> I did not, Tim. I did not watch Chucky yet. Hey, Jamie. Welcome. Yeah, so if you're joining, that noise is Phoebe in the back. She's eating her bone. But I have Teddy because it's the two anniversary of the new building. So even though we can't be there, we can still celebrate. Hey, Colin. Hi, Richie. Betty is very distracting. <laughs> The other confetti is weird though, so. Phoebe's eating her bottom. I guess I'm having a party. Were any of y'all? Hey, Tommy. Who all was there the day that the new building opens? Because I've seen videos. Wasn't there? I got it. See if there's a Power Ranger one. There was. Thomas was. What'd y'all do that first day? Hey, Jeffrey. Me neither, Brady. Just chowing down. This morning, Tommy, you were there. 
Hi, Rebecca. You looked around. Door. Very excitedly do schedules. Sweet. I feel like it says it can go back as y'all were that day. Yeah, y'all got to go four year on TBI. So it wasn't too scary new. Well, it looks like it was fun. Was the mayor? I don't know. August 20th, that year. August 20th, Tim. Amber said she made a lot of keys, but that was a pretty show. Okay. Confetti off so I can see. But, history of the. I think it'll look like this when we get back. Okay. Let's see. That's been amazing. Not eating her bone. She's very loud today. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> very proud. It's her favorite. Yep, there's a it is National Day, so if that's something you want to do, you can do it. Okay. Phoebe, they say good morning. She doesn't care. She's eating her bone. All right. So, a new day that I don't know if y'all have heard about, but I thought this was cool. National Barrier. Awareness. Heard of that? It looks like my camera is messing up a little bit. So, good morning, Kina. So, National Bay Awareness Day. Mm. Cool, Tim. No, I hadn't heard of it before either. Here. Hi, Jake. <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, National Barrier Away is celebrated. KP2, look at all you today. So on May 7th, each year, we are with Breaking Down Obstacles, National Barrier Awareness Day. Sorry. My internet's messing up a little bit today. Okay. For me, I guess y'all are gonna let me know, right? I bet we all will be a little nervous, and excited to come back, but we will have plenty of time to plan for it. Okay. 
On May 7th, each year, we are on National Barrier Day. We are resolving most keeping people with disabilities from advancing in education. Opportunity to tear down walls, build ramps that provide access, and eliminate policies preventing those with disabilities from accessing their full potential. So National Barrier Awareness Day encourages us to do so. Many disabled people face financial, cultural, and physical barriers because of a lack of public understanding of their needs. Visible and invisible barriers are equally difficult to overcome. With advocacy, education, and awareness, these obstacles can be lifted and empowering people with disabilities smart, independent, fulfilling lives. So really sounds like what my possibilities tries to do every day, right? Oh, can you hear me? Hey, Paul. Hmm. Hear me? Okay. Nan, turn. Okay. All right. So I was talking about National Barrier Awareness Day, right? What do y'all think that that means? What barrier do you think that you guys face today? It could be something little, you know, fizzy. Better in wheelchairs might need ramps versus stairs. That's a barrier. Um, right now, some people might be having a barrier getting technology. Mm -hmm. That's a good analogy, Thomas. It is like road construction. <laughs> Eliminating barriers to success. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, let's see. The history of the day. Amber said being judged for her disability. Yeah, that's a barrier. So today is kind of a day to bring awareness to all of that. Uh, you know, obviously in my possibilities, we know about more than, you know, everybody else out in the community. So today to share all of that with the community. Um, some things you can do, uh, sharing your story and support using hashtag, so you can use social media. Another is to write or call your congressman. So a lot of things happen with laws and lawmakers and advocacy that I'm not, I'm not great at explaining, but call your congressman or your, um, like your representative and having talking to them so they know that they represent you as well, right? You're voting laws and things. The history of this day, why it's a day. In 19... So, Tim, how long is that? Being bullied? Yeah, good one. So in 19, Congress designated May 7th as National Barrier Awareness Day by a joint resolution. It authorized the president to do a proclamation recognizing the day. On May 7th, President Ronald Reagan issued a proclamation 
five, four, seven, two. Phoebe, get away from the door. She's putting her bone into the door. Jeez. And it called for Americans to recognize the day with events and programs that would contribute to removing the obstacles in those with disabilities. So David, fears are something that hold you back. Yeah, it's exactly what they are. So how to observe it says breaking the barriers and eliminating all of cultural, employment, legal, and physical obstacles that confront individuals with disabilities. So I just thought that was a cool day that we can be thinking about different barriers that block you, sharing, coming up with ways to fix that. Yeah, Phoebe is playing. Yep, actually and physically, especially right now. It's kind of a weird time. Well, if y'all think of any other barriers throughout the day, you should share them because I bet some of your hipster friends, staff, and families probably similar barriers that we're all to overcome. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's see. Another day, this one is actually this weekend, but there's a lot this weekend, so we're going to talk about this one today because I think it's fun. So have y'all ever heard of Lost Sock Memorial Day? No, Phoebe stole. I just moved her bone away from the door so it wouldn't be so loud. No, it's kind of a silly holiday, huh? So, so this is a funny holiday. On Lost Sock Memorial Day, it is time to say goodbye to all single socks, the ones where their mates have been lost. So y'all are dumdry You get laundry and you've like lost half of your There's one over here and it doesn't have a pair. You guys. The washing machine eats them. I don't know where they go. So where do all the missing socks go? Is there a washing machine heaven? This is a question people have trying have been trying to solve for many centuries. I don't know if it was that long, but an answer may never be found, and life will go on. How to have lost such a close knit friend, and it says knit like knitting. Of course, since before the dawn of Tupperware, inventors have attempted the prevention of Alas, if if they had succeeded, mismatched socks wouldn't be popular. Wear mismatched socks because you can't find the other one. I think I did that last night. Them out over here. Tim, do you have any mismatched socks? So, this is a holiday <clears throat> because sometimes you have to go and just get rid of that. That's right. David says squirrels take his socks from the lawn to the attic. It's about what it feels like. It says now, 
let go and move on. You can clean out all of your left behind socks, but there's also some ways to use those. All of your socks match to him. So, some ways you can use these socks. Look at all these ways. going on in the comments but we're talking about socks so focus on the socks guys so what's a way that y'all think you could use your extra socks instead of throwing them away Ooh, popcorn socks Ooh. Let me give you some ideas. You can turn them into a sock puppet. With the puppet filter, but it's terrifying, so I won't show y'all. <laughs> Animators. Yep. Use them as dust rags. That's a good idea. Go around and dust, like, your window blinds. Turn them into... It's a choice for pets, which I just noticed. This is one of my mismatched socks that I just have one of. And so I just tie knots in it and let the dog on it. Like this. And then Phoebe does it. Yep, she's chewing on it. Right. Make warmers so you can cut the toe off and put it on the monkeys um fill them with beans and them for a cornhole game do y'all know what cornhole is now she's gonna eat sock oh in the dark socks turn socks into something or it says you can just talk some people like that um this says fill up both ends of a long lock and make a plastic bag so if you cut them and they're really, you can uh, put bags on the top and then they will pull out the bottom. Hey, hey. just trying to eat my pinata. Sock to make a bunny, yeah. Some ways you can use them to craft. You can use them to practice sewing too. If you need something to practice sewing. Gloves. You have to cut, cut holes if you use them for gloves, Amber. Yeah, that's cornhole. Toss a beanbag into it. Or you could just use my socks. You're right, Jackie. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was a funny holiday. It's definitely going to make me a sock door. Phoebe's in the bed. I want to see Phoebe. Oh, you could use it as a Christmas. It's a dog, huh? Yeah, she's on the bed. She gave it to me. Or my coffee. Okay. Puppets, yeah. Jared, what would you use your extra socks for? Don't. Phoebe, my neighbor just used to bark at him. Ooh, you could tie it up. That's a good idea, Amber. 
It doesn't matter if they match, right? Because they're tie-dyed. All right, well, if y'all think of any other socks, let me know because I'm going to have to clean mine out. <laughs> Phoebe apparently has lots of ideas. I know, I don't know what her... What? She's crazy this morning. Okay. All right, so this day in history... So in 19... The USA Space Shuttle Endeavor... Right, David K. That's where I lose all mine, too. So the US Space Shuttle Endeavor was in Avril, Florida. Space Shuttle Endeavor is now our better space shuttle program. Fifth and final operational. Yeah, my guy, mine. That's a great idea. Hey, Connor. After retirement, more than 20 organizations submitted proposals to play the orbiter. Retired. Yeah. Yep, you could do this too, Jared. That's a good idea. Okay. Do you think that you would want just to look at? Because they don't work after they're retired. Is it near Disney, Florida? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're still talking about socks. Turn socks into dogs. Ooh. You turn socks into tiny socks for dogs. Chat for Phoebe. I need plastic to keep them on our feet, probably. All you were talking about. Lost Sock Memorial Day. So what we do with all of our single socks. Okay. So NASA announced that the Endeavor would go to California Science Center in Los Angeles. So the is tired. They can't just fly from Florida to California, right? to drive it there. So the orbiter was slowly and carefully transported through the streets of Los Angeles from October through the along and boulevards to its final destination at the California Science Center and Exposition Park. So police escorts and other security personnel among them LAPD and NASA officials. Isn't that cool? The so got an escort from the police. Have any of y'all ever seen the space shuttle? There's a, I think there's one in Houston. Y'all away today. On here because this next this next part feeling you're gonna see one in Houston. Patrick Higgins, oh, you. I see you and your dad. <laughs> There's Patrick. Oh, the NFL releases their schedule. I did not know that. 
Okay. Patrick, have you ever seen the sponge on the run? <laughs> Take the space shot. Okay. All right, well, this, of course you haven't. I should read all of this. SpongeBob Moon will come out later this month. Patrick, have you seen any SpongeBob movies? Always posting SpongeBob memes. Y'all want to go out in space? About that. Yeah. Well, there's a SpongeBob movie coming out in like two weeks. So it's called SpongeBob the Sponge. What do you think he's running from? <laughs> Alex P. So for, for this, this is. SpongeBob too. SpongeBob, Mr. Scott. So let's see. For his, it will be in 2D and 3D. We're going to take Patrick on a rescue mission to save Garrett Nail. That sounds awesome. So he's trying to save Garrett. We should definitely. I'm really good at your socks too. It's a Scooby Doo movie. I need to see that one. Tommy's seen all of them. Tommy, a long time ago, I worked at Six Plus, the amusement park, and they had a SpongeBob ride. It was really cool. You like watched a video and you moved around and it blew bubbles on you. Yeah, Phoebe's taking a nap now. She wore out eating the bone in my sock. I want to Gary too, Olivia. We'll have to figure out how to watch that. Cloud just came. Yeah. yeah, my favorite. And it was inside, so when it got really hot, we could go in there. Hey, Connor. Here now. <laughs> Did not know that. Yeah, the SpongeBob or the Sponge ride almost every year. Here it was like a drill park. I don't know what it is now. Well, I wonder if there's a SpongeBob filter. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, it's gonna be in. Oh man. <laughs> Let's do it again. Can't win. I just want to be SpongeBob. Oh, there we go. Now he's dancing on me. A cat, yep. Oh, now he has a heart balloon. Let's 
dancing. Oh, that's silly. You know what? I think I'm going to leave it being a big bottom. Miss Summer just posted how to make your own SpongeBob. All right. I knew Patrick would come in with the memes. <laughs> okay. Hey, bottom. I'm gonna do. You can't see my. Mouse. These are right here. It's magic. That's how I did. <laughs> so, oh, he's over there. Y'all can't see my hands. Okay. Let's see here. Just decided to go there, Tommy. For fun. Get all my papers together. Jeez. I know. I wish. I wish there was one. For the I didn't see one though. Okay. Y'all like it? Oh, it doesn't like the. Okay. Let me see. Crab one. I don't think there was though. I don't want to be petty. Okay. Nope. I'm gonna keep on this one. Let's see. You know what? Since Mr. Scott likes SpongeBob, we're gonna do his spotlight today. Maybe if I can find it. Okay. The song. Of course I know the song. You want me to play it? I'm not gonna sing it. Y'all don't want me to sing. Okay, at the end I'll play the SpongeBob theme song. How about that? First we're gonna talk about Mr. Scott. Okay. Y'all ready? All right, what are two of your areas of interest outside of work? He said, looking through other people's junk at flea markets and estate sales and garage sales and organized hoarding, and which I think y'all saw when you saw his MP cribs. His top collections are Jack's and Falf memorabilia, autographs, weird and strange things. Sounds about right. One talent he likes in himself, he said, repurposing furniture and using old to build new furniture. Two learned skills he has, he said, playing bass guitar and drums and whistling. He says he wants to do a whistle off with Foster, so we need to make that happen. His first job, he said, the fabric gallery while in high school. I'm a stock boy on Monday and Thursday, work selling and cutting fabric on Saturdays. He said he even made a dress. Look at that, Mr. Scott. He can mess your crabs. I'll have to tell him that. Um, he has two Boston Terriers named Mo and Howie. The farthest place he's traveled will be in Thailand. Um, he said, if if he ever got stuck in an elevator and had to listen to one song, it would be Looking for Space by John Denver. Would anybody listen to the SpongeBob theme song if you were stuck in an elevator? <laughs> he likes money. That does make sense, Brady. So Scott always has ones on him, huh? Let's see. He said his hero was his dad. Um, he's worked at MP for 10 years in June. It's a long time. Um, anything else he wants to share that we might not know? So he said he does not like bugs and spiders. 
I'm scared of flying in insects that sting. He said, I've been known to run and jump and scream like a girl. Hmm. Heard that before. He said, he doesn't like being late. He says he has super smooth feet. He never goes outside barefoot in the house unless he's in the shower or bed. He has socks on his feet. So now we have Mr. Scott. Mr. Scott, we're calling him. That needs to be his Halloween costume, huh? You agree with him? You don't like bugs either? Let's see. All right. All right. For Hipster Spotlight, we'll do Miss Farah. Yeah, if y'all never seen it, he will scream like a girl. Does it look like there's a pineapple coming out of my head? Okay. So Farah, since she's been home, she said she's going out and doing online classes, listening to music, and helping mom. Ms. Farah actually graduates from her, her um, college classes next week. Her hobbies include dancing and listening to music. She said the talent she has that we don't know about. She's juggling a big ball with her foot. Hmm. I need to see that. She's learned social and independent skills at MP. The farthest she's traveled was India, Italy, and Dubai. <laughs> I'll let him know that, David. Let's see. Farrah's favorite movies are Clueless, Bratz, and Legally Blonde. Me too, Farrah. She's been a hipster for almost four years. And things she wants us to know is that she can sign songs in American language. That's pretty cool. I did not know that about Farah. <laughs> Scott, uh, Tim says, bad news, summer show, The Bachelorette and Big Brother got canceled. That is bad news, Tim. What are we going to watch all summer? All right, before I play the song, I have a few reminders. So, like I said yesterday, there are some virtual groups happening on Zoom, and I know some of y'all got to do them yesterday, and they were real, right? Y'all liked them? Sandy Cheeks is nuts, but she's also from Texas. Vera does. Okay. So if if you go to do virtual groups, yeah, I never said it was fun. Uh, uh, Y'all can email Miss Madison to get signed up, or if you go back to our Facebook page, there's a list of the schedule. And there are more next week. I think we're going to start a book club and some other things next week. I'll hear Phoebe. <laughs> All right. Schedule for today. All right. At 10 30, it's just a hip tip. Then at 11, Miss Olivia will be live with a fit tip. Then Miss Ellie will be live at noon talking about the five languages. Then at one, Miss Summer's gonna be here with Caroline sorting clothes. Then at two, there's gonna be Drop Julia live. Then at three, there'll be something called a Joy Bucket with Miss Kim live. So make sure y'all come and do a lot, all of those things, a lot of live things today. All right, hold on, I'm holding up the song.
Wow, a lot of SpongeBob songs. <laughs> like. <laughs> I didn't know SpongeBob had this many songs. I hope y'all are singing with this. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Don't hear Phoebe singing it. <laughs> she was singing along. You know, I don't know what the joy bucket is. We're all just gonna have to come find out at three with Miss Kim. No, what, Patrick? dancing to it. <laughs> she's large because she's a puffer fish. She can puff up. Okay. Well, hopefully y'all liked the sponge. Very random today. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow where I probably still will be in any bottom. Who knows? It'll be a surprise. Bye.